The plan was to build the whole Umbrella Bridge in one long weekend, August Bank Holiday, 1963. Come what might, the circus had to be open for traffic by 6.30 on the Tuesday morning. There were just 65 hours to do the job. It was raining, of course. The first girder went into position on the Saturday, less than two hours after starting time. The largest girder was 35 feet long and weighed just over five tons. In went the bolts, first time of asking, a tribute to the accuracy of the stool survey. Saturday afternoon still, and the whole centre rib nearly complete. At seven o'clock on Saturday evening, the first deck section went into place. The night shift took over, and the deck sections continued to drop in, fitting like the parts of a construction kit. On Sunday morning at 11 o'clock, half the deck was complete, road surface and all, for the units came from the works with the asphalt already laid. The deck sections are not bolted down, which saves time and bolts. They cannot move because the whole structure interlocks. Sunday midnight, 30 hours and 40 deck sections to go. Just after midday on the bank holiday Monday, with 18 hours left, the heavy work was complete. 245 units put into position in an average time of 11 minutes each. And right on the dot, 6.30 a.m. Tuesday, August the 6th, 1963, Oxford Circus was open again for traffic. Under the umbrella bridge, excavations for the new ticket hall began.